Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about slicks. So how to bring the gun in front, how to bring it to the back, how to make transition to your sidearm, and all that kind of stuff. Sounds very simple, and it is basically very simple once you do a little bit of training, but the reason why I'm making this video is I'm seeing people all the time at fields how they struggle with their slings, how they kind of strangulate themselves, how they try to kill themselves with the sling. So I thought I'm just gonna make a video on how to do it properly and how I learned it at the military. Now before we're getting into how to use the sling, let's talk about different sling setups. There's one point slings, two point slings, and three point slings. The one point slings are, as the name already says it, just mounted to the gun by one way. Just like this, so just imagine it hanging here. The problem right there is if I bend, the rifle just falls, you know, digs to the ground, especially a long sniper rifle like this one. And you know, if you run around, it's just gonna bump around. And it is, I just don't like it. If you mount it in the middle, it's gonna twist as you see. If you mount it here in the back, it's gonna dig into the ground once you knee down. Then there's also three point slings. Those provide the most stability uh, when it comes to hanging the gun to your body. But the other problem is that they surround your entire body, which means that if you want to get rid of them, you know, maybe you want to put your sniper rifle away because you want to breach a building or something like this. It's just not possible. You're not as flexible. You can't, you know, put your sniper rifle away in the safe zone or stuff like this, or if you want to climb something. So that's why I'm not a big fan of three-point slings. My personal preference is the sling right here. It is a two-point sling. If you want to know more about how I set that sling up, because that's not how it's set up on an N24 usually. Usually the sling ones are here on the bottom. If you want to know how I did this one, go watch the video that's linked in the video description and in the info card. What I like about this sling is that it gives you stability, but still a lot of flexibility. For example, you are able to change your shoulders, which is very hard with the three-point sling. So let's go through the different ways to carry the gun with a two-point sling and also how you make the transition between the different ones and what's the benefit of each one. The first way to carry it is the very basic one, just you know around your neck, it's hanging down, you can do all kinds of stuff, but you have your hands free. Now how do you get into this carrying method? may sound very easy, but still there's stuff that you can do wrong. Um, some people like to grab the sling, so they, you know, they grab it and then they kind of again kill themselves with the sling. Then they twist it, as you can see now it's twisted, which um, hurts my neck. What you should do is make an L shape with your hand like this. Then you just, you know, go along the sling and you put it over your head. This way you're going to have the entire surface of the sling on your neck. So again, make an L shape, search for the sling. You can also do this, you know, at night if you just don't see anything. With the L shape, you have the biggest chance of grabbing the sling. Just expand it all the way, put it over your head, and there we go. First position. That's a position that I have the most. That's how I use it at the urban area because, you know, I can get up, I can bring it to the back, I can bring it back in front, just drop it, make the transition to my sidearm. This allows the highest flexibility, but at the same time, it's not super comfortable since the entire weight of the gun rests on my neck. So here's the second method, uh, the second most popular, or at least that's my second favorite. It is a little bit on the side. So what you do is you bring your gun up and you use your arm like this to go through the sling and you just put your elbow through the sling. Now the entire weight is not resting anymore on my neck, but you see here along my body. That's the carrying method that I use when I'm on milsims. You know, I'm walking along a way and it's not as flexible. I can't do a shoulder transition anymore as fast because first I have to get out of the sling put the sling over my head and make the transition. But it just is way more comfortable. And if you're walking for hours with the setup, you're not gonna feel it. So you're gonna appreciate this way of carrying it. The benefit is, um, you know, compared to wearing the rifle on the back, that you can still get up the gun. You still have enough freedom to take the shot, even though you can't do transitions anymore. Also crawling is not as easy anymore, but you can still take the shot and you can do your sign on transitions. What I like a lot about this method is that when I bend down, you know, I knee down, the gun is going with me. So as you can see, the gun is not touching the ground, which it is if I just have it around my neck. If I go down now, it is touching the ground. If I loop my elbow through it, it's gonna bend with my body. So if I want to jump into buildings and stuff like this, 
that's the way to go. If you're walking, that's the way to go. And if I know that I'm gonna breach a building, I also usually have it right in front. So once the building is clear, I can get my elbow through it and get right to work again. So again, transition from this you know, side position to the front position is just looping the elbow through and you're ready to go. Third way to carry a rifle is on your back. There we go into the basic position again, the first position, which is hanging on your neck. And then you put it on the back by going through the sling with your right hand, grabbing the barrel and just putting it on your back. Here, obviously, you know, you're completely free to move. You can bend down extremely without the rifle touching the ground. It just, you know, bends with your body. You can do your sidearm transitions. That's what I usually do when I walk into tunnels and it's very low. That's when I have the rifle on my back or if I jump into buildings, you know, through a window, something like this, then this carrying method is very useful. So how do you bring the gun back in front again? You just take your right hand, you go along your body as close as possible along the sidearm and then you're gonna hit the barrel with your hand. You grab it, you bring it forward and then you make the transition to the other hand take the elbow, go through it, and then you're ready to go again. You can bring your rifle back up. Now that's how it looks if you do it quickly. It will not help to just watch this video and go, okay, you know, I just remember that. You should practice this in front of a mirror. See what you're doing, watch it, you know, analyze the mistakes that you're doing that stop you from making the transitions faster and smoother and practice, practice, practice. That's how we did it at the military, and it might sound a little bit stupid that you know that you're just standing there and you're doing the transitions, it will look awkward. But that's the only way to learn it in a way that when you're in a stressful situation, you can still operate the sling properly. So how do you use this sling techniques during the game? Let's just make a quick scenario. First of all, I'm walking in a mill sim for several hours already and I don't know if there's going to be enemies, but I still want to be on alert just in case if somebody comes, I can bring my gun up. So I wear the sling like this. Just walk around and all of a sudden I hear something. Then I would like to go into a gun position where you know I can just react a little bit more quickly. So I loop my elbows through and I just go to the first position. So I can, you know, I have my freedom to operate the gun. I can just crawl, I can go to the ground. I just have my freedom and more control over my gun. Okay, then I have enemy contact. I bring my gun up. I walk to a building or I run to a building basically. And I want to do a transition from right hand to left hand. Then I have to get rid of the sling by using the L shape again, putting it over your head, make the transition to the other shoulder. And then the combat is over. I just go back to the basic position and then I think okay I want to jump into the building so I have to get the gun onto the back I grab the barrel I bring it to the back I grab my sidearm and I breach the building so in this scenario you saw that I need all those different carrying techniques to fulfill uh, my task as the airsoft sniper okay that's been the sling video I know it was a little bit long maybe a little bit dry but again those are things those are very basic things that you should learn when you play airsoft to make yourself a more effective player. Now if you want to see more stuff like this on the second channel, let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else that you want me to cover on this channel, again, just type it down there in the comments. This is Norwich and I'll see you guys on the next guide.